it's 2024 i'm excited hey 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 hello beauties welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing fantastic if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by you are absolutely welcome to my channel i'm wendy temple i create content on beauty skincare and wellness please do well to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos today's video is all about how to achieve a natural contouring makeup look like what i'm wearing so if you want to see how i created this beautiful look then keep on watching first and foremost i started by prepping my skin it's important to cleanse and moisturize your skin before starting with makeup application as you all know my all-time favorite <laughs> i'm going in with Ghanaian cleansing water to first of all cleanse my face after cleansing, I went in with a toner followed by serum and then moisturizer. You already know my skin prep process, but for those who are new here, I'm going to list all the products used in the description box. As part of my skincare process, I always go back with my fingers to pat the products in. Patting boosts circulation and gets the blood moving around the face patting can also help the product absorb better into the skin which can lead to a better result wait for one to two minutes before applying the next product which is primer applying primer helps your base makeup stay in place To get the base foundation right, make sure you choose a natural looking foundation that will ensure your skin look radiant and naturally flawless. I'm using the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting um, Foundation in Deep Bronze. I've done a review about this foundation before. It has a wonderful satin and dewy finish, feels light and fresh on the skin is beautiful if you need additional coverage blend it in such a way that it disappears into your skin <laughs> that means blending is key that's what i meant to say blend 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 until you're sure it's perfectly blended next comes concealer use a shade that is a little lighter than your foundation to brighten your under eye area Apply it with a small brush and then blend it with a sponge or a blending brush. Now let's get to the fun part, contouring. Choose a shade or two darker than your natural skin tone. Apply it to the aloes of your cheeks, along your jawline and on either side of your nose. A little bit of that to the temple and then blend everything starting from the contour the number one rule of blending your contour is that there is no such thing as over blending take your time to blend in your contour on your cheeks jawline and temples tapping it in a small circular and sweeping motions to soften ash lines for a seamless finish When blending my nose contour, I always like to use a fluffy brush to blend the product seamlessly, creating a natural contour. To add some color to your face, apply blush to the apples of your cheeks. Choose a natural blush that is not too bright but is enough to make you glow. There's a thin line between dull and youthful look and that is blushes. With the right technique, blush has the ability to give your face a lift, project your contour and give your face dimension. After you've applied your cream blush, set it with a powder of the same shade, just like you would with your contour. But I'm going to do that after applying all of my cream products. Now I'm using brush to gently blend the concealer under my eyes and other areas I applied concealer so many advantages using brush to blend it doesn't absorb the product it works perfectly for blending liquid and cream product instead of using a beauty blender you can use your beauty blender to smoothen everything after you use your brush to first of all blend 
go ahead to set your concealer with pressed or loose setting powder now i'm using morphe glamour bronze face and body bronzer to give the face a warm sun kissed glow and it can also help even on the skin tone i'm applying it to the temples eye on the cheeks and also the nose and shin anywhere the sun would eat the face giving it color creating a fast and easy natural eye makeup look is super easy when you use bronzer i'm using the same bronzer on the eyes to give the eye areas a little bit of warmth just like it would on the skin i added a little more blush to my face and then blended everything with uh, my face powder this is me applying face powder to the rest of my face i'm going to do my brows off camera wait for the final touch hi brows all done check me out go cheek <laughs> So I wanted some sort of depth. I'm applying darker shade at the outer corner right now. Note, I did not do eyeshadow, primer, anything. I just went in with the same bronzer I used, applied that to the eyelid, and now I'm just applying um, dark eyeshadow black to the outer corner to give me kind of depth. For the final touch, I like the eye points of your face, the bridge of your nose, your cupid bow, the inner corner of your eyes, your brow bone, and then your cheekbones. Use a gold or champagne gold for that glowing look. Apply mascara to enhance your lashes and then sweep off any excess powder. For my lips, I'm using Beauty by Jones lip stain in Mammoth to just outline my lips, blended that out evenly. And then I applied on retain also from Beauty by Jones. This lip gloss is like, guys, it's beautiful. Look at how I'm looking. I look like a baby girl, you know. And voila, you now have a natural contouring makeup look that flatters your features and makes you look effortlessly beautiful. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And thank you for watching till the end. Bye.